Hey guys, doing a bat wrap today? Yep, doing a studio All right, update. Awesome. Right, and uh, sadly for the fans, I have not been able to get Josh back yet. I keep I keep courting him, and he keeps turning me down. Wow, what's that role, dude? He's like, no, I don't know what it is. That's, I don't know why ones like me so much. He is rolled. Let's start keeping track, just because right, so it's three right at that now. point. We, I'm rolling so many ones. Well, all that means is Lady Averages has no, something special Lady planned Averages for you. Oh, so <gasps> don't you say that. Lady Average likes everybody an average amount. Not me, apparently. Missile launcher into it. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. We're going to take out uh, Spinny McSpinnerton here and see what we see. Ben! Ben, where's Ben? All right, Ben's out. It's just his coat. Hey, Ben. Hey, hey, Ben's coat. All right, let's take a look at what Ben's working on. Some dark Eldar. All right, here's model number one. This is uh, level three work, just the basics. You've got uh, quite a large dark contrast here between the uh, red and yellows and sort of this purple, palish, glowy blue uh, carapace and uh, this here's a uh, reaver jet bike don't think the bases on these are quite done hey Mike how's it going <laughs> it's good I'm trying <laughs> work to through it. seriously what did you just put in your mouth okay. atomic two, you guys are eating those fireballs. okay by the way these clients sent like these <laughs> boxes of candy like uh, you know um, kind of a uh, I guess dime store yeah, type candy, just right? Like, uh, just like the, the just and, the, and it's funny to see what's being eaten last. That people are just like, oh wow, I'm so <laughs> desperate for sugar that I'm gonna eat this atomic, atomic, we go. atomic fireball. The, uh, okay, let's get that on <laughs> Spinny <laughs> McSpinnerton. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, That's so the great. atomic okay, fireballs. So. Every time, every time one gets a little bit low on juice, I pop another one in up the ante. So I'm up to two. <laughs> oh wow! And uh, maybe That's it's fantastic. about time for three. Okay, great. So uh, anything for us to look at? All right. Oh, so what happened to all your sculpts up here? Like the things that you had painted? Oh, I want to see. I want to see alien uh, warrior in powered okay. armor. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put that on Spinny McSpinnerton. Sweet. Yep. There she goes. All right. So this one is the shorter-haired version. You know, oh, that is slightly better. All right. Okay. So give us an email if you want to uh, pick up a copy of this model. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, so the client wanted to use it as a as an alien. <laughs> yes. And, uh, <laughs> it's uh, bounding across a. Well, whatever you want it to be bounding across. I made this little base with rocks. Yeah, now, normally it has a giant hair piece right, let's see if that I can spirals find. all the way down. And so it's like she's floating. Here and the hair is what? The, the, um, the hair is what? Uh, yeah, the hair holds is it up. supporting everything. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like. And this is upside down. So what's on the bottom right now? That's what normally attaches to her head. Or, as you see on the model here, you can clip the hair, you can clip the end of the ponytail, stick it on the top of her head, and have the uh, shorter version. And that is what that looks like. No. Okay, great. Uh, the entire staff is working on this Death Corps of Krieg project. And um, client, uh, we did the turrets to match, but the client wanted these uh, powder blue turrets, which apparently were on a, a inspired by army, and um, so yeah, we're, we're getting really close on this one, and it is a huge project. All right, we're here with Dean's Hand. Maybe Dean's Hand will make an appearance and say hello. He's in a bad mood today. He's not talking. Dean's Hand. No, Dean's Hand isn't coming out. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're here at Dean's desk. Here's a couple of things he's been working on. I just stopped it. Uh, this is a uh, Grey Knight Terminator. Uh, what level is this, Dean? Four. This is a level four. So that's what that looks like. And uh, all right, let's get another one on there. That one is, this one is a. Okay, and what's this? That is a tractor mule. Okay, so what's this one here? That is a tractor mule uh, for Ariadna in uh, Infinity. And uh, that would probably be a level five. Um, 
That's also got the LED in it, which is a additional something I did for fun. Effort, right. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Here we have a uh, terror geist for vampire counts. Uh, this is a plastic kit. It makes a zombie dragon with Vampire Lord, uh, or a Terror Geist, or a Ghoul King, which is this guy up here, uh, mounted on a Terror Geist. And it's an absolutely fantastic kit. Uh, the base measures about four inches by six inches, and this guy is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, which one? This is your own film, so. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not going away. I'm like the paparazzi. <laughs> Did the numbers mean anything oh. on the tanks? Um, there are, yes. <laughs> Hi, paparazzi. <laughs> Here's a unit of Hex Race. Uh, this is, I have to say, my absolute favorite version of Ethereal, that it goes down to this ruddy, dark brown, and then to black, and then all the way up through this ghostly green color. It is just very striking, and I think it, it just it just works. Here's Cameron working diligently to keep the studio running smoothly, paying attention to the details of your project. Okay, uh, here's a mortise engine. Uh, this is level five work. It has the same sort of uh, smoky ethereal effect. There's the. Uh, the um, guy, I can't remember what he's called. It's not a necromancer. It's like some kind of keeper of the keys. One thing we noticed is that there's three locks on the reliquary, and there are three keys on the end of his staff. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. There it is. So there we go. Hopefully you can see all that. That's what that figure looks like. Very, just an absolutely fantastic kit. Uh, put out by Games Workshop. Okay, so you got something new coming out here with your troll bloods. Mm, yes. All right, Trollkin so War I was thinking Wagon. it might be neat to Very actually nice. do some review videos while I. Oh yeah, we'll I'll make it like a whole it, process. Sure. And then Call me right it. on over. We need to. We need to do that. In fact, why don't you grab a figure from your troll bloods, a finished okay. item, or maybe even two, and let's take a look at how your army's shaping up. Okay. Because it is, it is some good looking stuff. Borka Let's get him right on there. There's kegs there. All right, boy, we're getting a lot of my we're getting a lot of mileage out of this spinny thing. So there's that guy. Probably my favorite. Not probably my favorite warlock. Yeah, I'm and I'm ready. Action. I want a piece of you, Cameron. Oh, I know. Huh? Right? Okay, put something else on there. Okay, what's this? Fen blade. Oh, that's fantastic. The whole unit isn't done. That's my sample model for this. Right. But that is easily my favorite unit. Of that faction. Oh yeah, they're great. great. They do. They're ridiculous. Everything good. They're so hard to deal with, especially when you give them defensive measure. Nothing okay. can top this model. Yeah. In any faction, any game. A troll with a spyglass and a pig. That's right. He's like, "Ho oh, there! I see more pigs. More pigs." And this is probably uh, good examples of our level five work. Uh, possibly, possibly a high four. All right, great. You know, I want you to get that bear out. All right, yeah. That thing. Right. All these Trollkin models and these that you're seeing right now, these are by Privateer Press. So who is this? Okay, so this is a minion. Um, uh, what's his name? Lug. The, the bear's Bru name is Lug. Brune and Lug. The dwarf is Brune Dragback, yeah. That's the one. He's like a yeah. little Russian-looking guy. So this is a minion for Kador. No, they can or work whoever. for Trollbloods, Circle of Orboros, or oh, the wow, uh, Rulik, the Dwarf Mercenary. Right. right. That is a That's really it. super figure. Yeah, so he's like a, he's a lesser warlock with his war right. vest. It's a great model. Okay, great. And whoever gave us this spinny thing, take a bow, because this is just, I'd say fantastic, but apparently, apparently, it's been called to my attention that I say fantastic a lot. So, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to do whatever I do. And people will just have to uh, figure out how they're going to handle that. Gaby's going to gate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gator's going to gate. Okay, so uh, here is some Space Wolves. Uh, you've got a uh, rather weathered um, uh, 
uh, Land Raider Redeemer. And, uh, and yeah, away we go. Let's take a closer look at some of these here. No spinny thing for these guys. Uh, this is a wolf pelt thing that we produce. It's an accessory. And, I mean, it could be a bear pelt, could be an RPG, uh, you know, in a giant's lair or something like that. All right, Karen, Karen's like, please, please, in the name of all that's holy, let him pass me by. All right. So what are you working on? I am finishing off some vampire counts. And I'm also fantastic. On this that's fantastic. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> is that fantastic? I think it is fantastic. That fantastic. That's great. All right, thanks, Karen. Mm -hmm. All right, here's a five by Karen. Uh, Chaplin, this is a metal figure. They currently uh, have transitioned to fine cast, uh, which is apparently like a type of resin, a mix of resin and plastic. And that is what Karen's working on. And here the mighty warlord ponders his next move. Hi, Sean. Hello there. The Hello there, there mighty on, warlord. So I still on. I'm just going to move in closer and see what you do. Try and move backwards. Fantastic! Uh, hey, hey, what's new in Shannon Land? Um, <laughs> paperwork yeah. and answering emails. Yay! So uh, USPS did a new. They like revamped their website. Yeah. And so okay. I'm kind of going through that right you now. Can't find Yay. anything. No, it's actually oh, way okay. better and Is easier it? and awesome, oh, but it's different. That. So right. Yeah. So, All right. That's exciting in my world. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Ren, what are you doing? Ren, 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 Ren. Ren's sick of entertaining you, basically. Nah. Ren, nah, Ren nah, did so his good. part. Good. Yeah, is this, uh, oh, it's combined, right? Uh, it's combined okay. and kind of Infinity. Yeah. Okay, great. Is this for a client or yeah. for studio? That's no, for client. Check that thing oh, out. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is really super duper. All yeah, right. It's called a cascuda. Yeah, I showed a picture of that. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. thanks. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get this on the turntable. <laughs> I All am, right, uh, so yeah, you are making progress. We haven't had an update on this for a little while. It, unfortunately, it's kind of been on the back burner, but I am uh, going full force on this, and we're going to get this out hopefully tonight. Oh, fantastic! And um, yeah, it's. Uh, I like the gray as a choice of like a well, the sub client, area. Yeah, the client didn't want any color. metallics on it, so I had to show some way of doing mechanical parts right. without doing metallics. Here, let's so. see those uh, weapon parts. Yeah, these are the there. forearm parts. Can um, you just go ahead and hold those up? Okay, great. And those are obviously in progress. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, Brig, so, what you doing? I'm doing 99 gaunts. It's like luft balloons, but spinier. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh I'm thinking of making a 100th gaunt, but uh -huh. just because to have a sense I'm of completeness. Making 99. Right. Pretty lame. But uh I don't know. Maybe spray paint it gold and throw it in there for like a 100th. <laughs> right. Like this is your your 100th customer or whatever it yeah. is. Right. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> all right. So yeah, what's new in Brickland? Um. 100 gaunts. Oh, sorry. Do anything interesting planned? What's going on here? It's gonna get more and more awkward until I come up with something interesting. Yep. <laughs> Keep recording. The creaking makes it a little more awkward. Dig deep, Brig. Dig deep. You know, a personal anecdote oh, would oh, do. I stuck a card in that wood over there when I was aiming at Alan. Oh, fantastic. You can see it. It's right there. It's still sticking Oh, wait out. a minute. Hold on. Where is it? I'm pointing straight at it. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you threw that from where you're sitting and it's stuck here? Yes. Okay, great. I'd call that an accomplishment. Whoa. It would have been really cool if that one went in, but... Yeah. So you did it again. Here, throw one more. Is that what you guys are doing with all these baseball cards? Yeah. We've Just been opening doing... up pack after pack and th throwing them? Yeah. We've gone pretty okay, good. Okay, you're good. Yeah, you can get it we, like 20 uh, feet. Alan 
what, from, from his desk, he opens up a pack of cards and throws them into those buckets over there. And really? He, yeah, and he, pretty, I mean, pretty reliably, like, you know, he'll get like four of them in. I, I think that's pretty impressive. That yeah, is, but, that's amazing. But, uh, we, yeah, we've been, we've been practicing throwing cards, trying to get our accuracy up. All right, thanks. He's trying to hit me with cards now. Go ahead, keep throwing them. Whoa. Now no someone good. else is throwing yeah, them at me. Looking, they're yeah, they're actually going to... Oh, oh, <laughs> guy, those are hard. <laughs> but none right. of them have hit me. Oh, it's so too soon. Ouch. That was smart. All right, is this enough Flames of War tank for you? <laughs> now, is this, this is the color of the plastic then or no, resin or whatever is, it is? These are ones that the client had sent in and had just okay. done some primer on it. Okay. So... Those were right. partially assembled, and then All right. Great. had to assemble the rest. That's, yeah, a, that's lot. a lot. Oh, of here's heat. more of the uh, the Titan. Yep. Right. He's slowly but surely getting through, and some more Flames of War stuff. More Flames of War. So there's that, and still yet more There's to still assemble. more. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, Lots that of is a lot. And artillery. That is a lot of stuff to yeah, do. It's awesome. Okay. Thanks, it's Brett. No problem. Uh, this is an Oriental Empire. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy Proxy Army using lots of different types of miniatures. And uh, just so you know, that is going to be on the block soon. It's just getting through It's getting through assembly to be repaired. I did up the points. If you count the dragon, it's 4,000 points. Uh, if you count the... It's easily 3,000 like with the other stuff. And, uh, you know, with, with some options. Off. So it's got a ton of infantry. It's got magnetized move trays. It's, you know, lots of conversions. It's very characterful. And uh, that is on the block right now if you just want to pick it up sight unseen uh, for uh, a slightly reduced price. Uh, that, you know, save us the trouble, uh, then yeah, you can just do that. And uh, it's based on, um, guy, what are they called? They're from Easterlings from Lord of the Rings. So uh, they're, they're really great figures.